Hello, everyone, and welcome to NSUC's 36th Annual Conference Moderator Orientation. So as a reminder here, the uh, NSUC 36th Annual Conference will take place from September 13th through 16th, 2017 at the Greater Columbus Convention Center in Columbus, Ohio. Now, for those of you watching this video that have been a moderator before, thank you, of course, for your continued years of service, and we look forward to seeing you again. Um, for those who are watching this video that are new moderators, please, after the end of this presentation, if you do have any additional questions or concerns about uh, moderator responsibilities, packets, what to do, uh, please email me, Erica Bruni, at speakers at nsgc.org, and I'll be happy to uh, work out the concerns or questions with you. Now briefly today, we're gonna to talk about both moderator packets and moderator responsibilities. So first and foremost, moderator packets. Um, these have been emailed out to you before um, the conference. So you should have received them um, towards the end of August here. They were sent to um, whatever email we have on file for your session. Um, included in this moderator packet is going to be a script that you can use to introduce your session, um, facilitate Q&A, also included will be session logistics. So this will include things like how to start and stop a session, what to do during the middle of a session, um, how to keep time, uh, things of that nature. And then lastly, um, just underneath the moderator packet um, in the session room, you'll also find the speaker bios um, that you can use here to introduce the speakers in your session. Now speaker bios have also been emailed out to you directly and they've been uploaded to NSGC's website. So they're accessible to you in three different areas. Um, again, if you do lose them, I always have backups. So please shoot me an email um, and I'm happy to work that out with you. Okay, moderator responsibilities. So before the start of your session, I'd encourage you to arrive about 15, 20 minutes early. You can never be too early to the start of your session. Um, and then once you're there, please introduce yourself to the speakers in the room, especially if you have not met yet. Um, and most importantly here, and I think this is the, the crucial role of a moderator, you know, check to make sure that the speaker has all of their required or preferred AV equipment. If for some reason something isn't working or you see something that um, is not available in the room that should be, please contact me. Again, my name is Erica and my phone number, my cell phone number will be made available to all um, session speakers. Um, on a card in each session room. So you will have that available to you. And I'll be running around with the rest of the staff, so I'll be hard to miss. Next, I'd encourage you to confirm with a speaker how time will be kept during the session. We do have time pieces available in each session room, which you'll see on the next slide here in a moment. But you know, if they have different preferences on how to be notified of time, they want a five minute reminder, three minute reminder, I think this is really important to work out before the session starts. Lastly, if you could just take a few moments prior to the start of the session to confirm with each speaker the introduction that you have on file for them. Um, they wrote all of the bios um, themselves. However, you know, things might have changed in the month or so since they've completed that. So feel free to show them their bios and, and see if they have any input. Okay, so this is a picture of our beloved timekeeper. So this will be available up at the podium so speakers will be able to see precisely how much time is left. Um, now, I know that probably from this picture, this might look a little bit daunting. I know for me, it's uh, when I first used it, it was a little bit complex. Um, the great thing about this is that our AV provider actually has provided written instructions that will be put in every session room. So you will have written instructions available to you to precisely walk step by step through how to set up the timer. Additionally, like I mentioned, I will be running around between the session rooms, so I'm there to help you set this up, as well as our AV team will be providing on-site uh, training before the start of sessions for how to work this. So have no fear, the timekeeper um, will be able to work. Okay, now moderator responsibilities during the session. I encourage you to welcome the audience, introduce the speakers, um, and please be sure as you're doing this, as you're starting the session, welcome people in, that you mention the session title and the session code. Um, now, session attendance verification codes will be made available in the back of each session room. There'll also be a slide in each session room with that code as well. So again, it'll be at the front of the room and at the back of the room. And for those of you claiming CEUs, as you know, this is the most important thing you can take away from uh, your session here at the conference. Also, additionally, you will want to act as a backup timer for um, 
your speakers, being sure to um, make sure that everyone is staying on their allotted time and that we don't run over time. Lastly, and I think that this is an important point here, is encouraging speakers to take the session outside of the conference room. The Q&A that happens at the conference is, I think, what makes the conference so special and so unique. With that being said, as you know, we run pretty back to back with our session. So as a moderator, it is your responsibility to, to keep the session on time. And lastly, you're closing the sessions. So you want to thank the speakers and the audience for participation in the session. And for any sessions that are scheduled back to back, such as concurrent papers, um, the moderator will begin their introductions by first thanking the speaker of the previous session and then continuing on with their introductions for the next session. Um, and then lastly, like I mentioned here, session evaluations. Uh, share the attendance verification code with attendees and remind them to complete their session evaluations. Okay, and that is it for moderator responsibilities. So as a recap here, you will have all of the required materials that you need to um, succeed in your moderator role here uh, sent to you via email. And again, that'll include your moderator packet, which includes uh, scripts and session logistics, and then you'll also be sent your um, session bios as well. And then we went over all of the different uh, moderator responsibilities, uh, the most important here being to keep the session on time, to facilitate Q&A, as well as to uh, relay the session attendance verification code. Uh, so with that, I very much look forward to seeing you all in Columbus. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me at speakers at nsgc.org. And with that, I will see you soon.